Howdy! How are you doing? Uh, Liron here, thank you for joining me. In today's video, uh, this is gonna be a quick kind of talk, conversation video, and I'll also give you a few channel updates. So thank you so much for being here, let's get to it. So the topic of today is the trap of comparing yourself to others. The reason I'm filming this video is because I've been talking to a lot of artists lately, and I'm gonna talk about that a little bit in a few seconds, um, and a lot of you also in messages and comments, and yes, I know I'm super slow to respond, but I have been talking to a lot of you, and a recurring theme is that of comparing yourself to other people. And I hear this from everyone. Now here is something really, really important that you must know. It's very easy to think that when you're getting started and you're terrible at what you do, you're terrible at, here I have some sketches that I tried. I really tried, some of them are good, some of them aren't. I'm working on these things too, but it's very easy when you get started to think that you're the one comparing yourself to others and no one else does it. Well, guess what, here's a secret for you. Everyone does it in every level of success. There isn't any person who's exempt from it unless they reached enlightenment. So just know that when you're looking at someone who is so much more experienced than you are, so much more skilled and developed their skill set than you are, or alternatively, someone who is much more successful, um, if you'll get the biggest YouTubers, not just art, anything, the biggest musicians, the biggest artists, the biggest whoever it is, they also do this. They also compare themselves to others. It's just a human nature. It's very hard to avoid. It's a topic that came up in the recent live streams. It comes up all the time. And yes, it's something that will happen. Now here is the key. To me, it's not about, you don't want to start grappling with that feeling, in my opinion. You can put it down on paper, write it, meditate on it, think about it, but at some point, you have to compartmentalize it, put it in its right box in the brain and tell it, okay, you're here, I recognize that you're here, this feeling of comparing yourself to others, this feeling of inadequacy, this feel and it can be very intricate also, the comparisons, it's not just, I can give you a personal example. So my channel uh, is pretty big, I think, uh, but I can compare myself in terms of how many views every video gets, how good is my engagement, how good, how many comments I get, which is by the way, a lot compared to others, how many, uh, what's the like to dislike ratio, all of these things, what, the, the smarter you get in the thing you do, the more opportunities to compare yourself to others there are. So you compartmentalize it, you say, hello, part of me that compares myself to others, I know you're here, I like you, you're good, you help me sometimes move forward, but for now I'm gonna set you aside and do the thing that will lead me to success. So it's not about that thing and grappling with that thing, at some point you just go, you sit down here and I'm gonna do the habits that I know will lead me to success. What are these habits? Basically practicing, learning the best content you can you can get your hands on and then practicing it. Drawing, drawing, painting, painting all day long, as much as you can, as much as time allows. And something is better than nothing. 10 minutes is better than zero minutes, right? And if you can do 30 minutes, it's better than 10 minutes. Whatever you can do. That trap of comparing yourself to others, it's okay. It's a natural part of who we are as humans. We're trying to figure out where we stand in regards to others and everyone feels it in all levels and all ranks, but it's not always helpful. So set that aside, focus on the thing that you do want to slash need to do rather than the thing you want to avoid being lesser or whatever it is, and do the things, the habits, the, the, the actions that will bring you to where you want to be. The pace isn't necessarily as important, right? The speed of improvement isn't something that is that important. And very often I'll find myself judging myself for these things. And then I'll ask myself, could I have done it better? And that's a good question to ask. Could I have done it better? Because when I stop and think, I'm like, okay, so yesterday I worked all day long. I didn't finish enough work. And now we're going a bit into productiveness and, and productivity and all of that and, and comparing yourself to how hard other people work, right? Could I have done it better? And then I'll look at my schedule and I'm like, no, I spent a lot of time working, I spent a lot of time doing. Yes, maybe I could have been a little more effective in how I divide my time, but overall, I did the best job I could at the moment, and so I'm gonna be as happy with it as I can. 
Okay, now I want to throw something else at you. I think a bit of a helpful perspective is that's something I completely stole from uh, Tim Ferriss, who's a genius. He's the, the guy who wrote The 4-Hour Work Week, and that's just a small sliver of what he's done in his life, um, is to ask yourself, whenever you find yourself having these negative feelings about something, whether it is um, comparing yourself to others or judging yourself or trying to or belittling your achievements or having some kind of a resistance to doing something and I know this is a bit all over the place but I do want to introduce that concept is to ask yourself what would it look like if it was fun and that's a trick I learned from that's a really good question I learned from Tim Ferriss ask yourself what would this look like if this was fun and really open up your mind to it so all of a sudden you may discover that or if it was easy that's another good question all of a sudden you may discover that a lot of the pressure is removed a lot of the all of the nerves, a lot of the, you know, if painting was fun, I'll just do it. I'll just paint. I wouldn't worry about getting each and every shape accurately. I'll just worry about the big wash, having fun, getting flow, all of these great things, right? And then I can take a break and come back and do the next step. If I have resistance to filming a video, I'll be like, what if this was fun? If this was fun or if this was easy, I just turn on the camera and start talking. Will the content be uh, the best, the most polished that I can make? No, but who cares? What's, what matters is I'm doing the things that build me up, build my business up, and I'm having fun at the same time, right? So you can ask this about anything, even like to me, and here's another personal point. I have big resistance and hatred towards bureaucracy. I don't like forms. I don't like the inefficiency of waiting for someone to help me move to the next step. I love to be I love to depend on myself for everything pretty much, but that's not always possible because sometimes you're dependent on other things, other organizations, the government, you know. Um, so even with bureaucracies, if I ask myself, what would this, it's a big personal one for me, like it, you, you don't, you're not exposed to this side when I'm doing these videos because you don't see me filling up forms and doing business stuff, like really business stuff. Um, but even then, if I ask myself, what would this look like if it was fun? Bam, immediately a whole new world of opportunities opens up uh, and I'm like, okay, then I'll just fill in the form. I'll print five forms and I'll fill one of them haphazardly and if I mess it up, I'll fill another one. It just, it's a more useful perspective to tackle, okay? Now, just to conclude what we talked about so far, this is kind of me venting and rambling a bit because I had a couple of weeks that are more mentally challenging and I feel like I handled them really well. Uh, so a lot of different things, different um insecurities and worries that pop up on a regular basis they kind of bunched up in these couple of weeks and I feel so good about them because I've, I'm, I've kind of went through them processed them and I'm at a better place to comment on them and I feel like I'm getting a, a better balance right and everyone has these days it goes back to the point of comparing yourself to others everyone will have these days of being not as productive not as creative not as motivated it's all a part of it the one thing you can control and can focus on is the habits if you can do something even if you don't feel like it or ask yourself how would this look like if it was fun, if it was easy? You get it? See how it all connects? Hope you enjoyed this one. Now let's move on to a quick, quick channel update. One thing I put um, as a main task for myself for the next two years probably is to continue innovating. Innovate, innovate, innovate with everything I can. Um, now this doesn't mean I'm gonna throw everything out the window and do things differently, of course not preserve whatever works well and innovate and add new things as much as I can. So I have a couple of ideas. One of the first things I want to do more of is conversing with other artists. So you will start seeing slowly and gradually how we're having actually interviews and conversations and things on this channel that I think will really be fun to listen to, will be very uh, good teaching moments and also will just be fun for me to make these connections. Um, so you can definitely look forward to that. Uh, I can't really share too much right now because it's all in the planning and in the making, but that's gonna be a thing. I'm looking at doing a few things that, that, that people have requested for, like Discord and a couple of other things like that. I just need to wrap my head around the, perhaps the implications of doing such a thing, what it will require for me, because I want to make sure that I can give enough from myself, right? Um, and I have a lot of ideas that pop up. I'm gonna just share with you a bit. I have a lot of ideas that pop up that have to do with new services and new things to provide and maybe more access kind of things like, okay, more personal time of, of me answering your questions, maybe in a conversation or like private conversation or something, something like that. And I always have a strong resistance to these ideas. 
because I'd much rather spend that time answering as many other people as I can, right? I, 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 I don't know if it's, if it's productive or counterproductive. I haven't decided yet. Um, but I have this resistance to doing something that is more premium, right? To allow you to pay more or support in a different way like Patreon, which I definitely don't, don't plan on incorporating anything like that there for now. Um, but I do have a lot of ideas that relate to that kind of concept of access, where I'm like, who am I to, to charge more for access? I mean, if you're coming here and you're doing a pr private lesson or even online private lesson, that's completely different, right? That's a, like a workshop or a private lesson, that's something else. But if it's just like, you know, you, can, you get to ask me your questions and I'll answer them, I don't like it. I'd much rather, put everyone on equal footing and just answer as many people as I can, right? So I don't know, maybe that's me taking away the possibility of some people to get more access and more direct conversation with me. But I just, I'm, I feel a bit iffy about that idea. And actually I would like your feedback uh, and input about that in the comments. I don't know, we'll, we'll see. But, but the things I'm working towards, the main things I'm working towards is how can I make this, the thing we're doing here, the biggest it can be reach as many people as I can, inspire as many people as I can, and help as many people. So that that's always going to be kind of the guideline. Hopefully that makes sense. So yeah, I talked about the innovation. Let's see if there's anything else. Uh, yeah, and more conversation with artists. Oh yeah, one more thing, more spontaneous lives. You have seen I did recently a spontaneous live. I hope to do more as I'm practicing, as I'm just doing my day-to-day -day stuff uh, so that I can <coughs> update you uh, about what I'm doing. It's just cutting every middle middleman possible and just me with you conversing, talking. You know, if you ever bought something from me, you know that if you email me, I'm the one who answers. You know, if you have a problem accessing a course. If you have questions about courses, I get these all the time. Like, what's in this course? What is it about? I'm answering. There's no, there's no assistance. There's no customer uh, service. It's just me. Uh, maybe it will change in the future, but for now, I'm very happy about the way things work. So, you know, I'm trying to be as direct as possible. Hopefully it comes through. Hopefully it makes uh, the content I make more interesting and, and everything that I'm doing more, more relevant and more helpful, I guess. Uh, so with that, we're going to wrap it up. I want to thank you so, so much. If by chance this is the first video you watch, which is very unlikely, be sure to subscribe and let me know. Also, leave a comment down below with your thoughts. Very curious to hear what you think about all of this. Share your struggle, the thing that's been on your mind. What do you think about the uh, innovating on this channel? Whatever, everything we talked about. Curious to hear your opinion. If you enjoyed this, leave a like. If you didn't enjoy it, leave a dislike. YouTube likes that too. It doesn't matter. Any interaction is good. We'll see you again in the next video real soon.